Yes. Right. Easy deal. Yeah. Totally. So that's fine. Gosh, I was hoping it would be less expensive, but I understand it is what it is. And this is what I saved up for. And I'm like, I have no choice because I, I the last apartment, uh, uh, the last couple apartment things I tried to do, two were a scams. And they tried to get my identity and take cash from me. And then and then recently I reached out to two more, even trying to hire the person who claimed to be a real estate agent so I would actually have somebody making sure I wouldn't get scammed. And then they were a scammer. And, and I pulled money out of the bank and everything for deposits. And also I have to pay my like old GI Bill loan to my daughter. Like, anyway... I just been and I was like I can't take it. and then my my RV it's had black mold growing from water leaks that the warranties got denied on me these last it's just been insane what I've been through and that's why the RV has to go now because I can't the insurance won't cover the, I'm screwed I'm just screwed in all ways shapes or form except for I have continuous disability income now and that's protected by the Haven Act and and I have a hotel room for 29 days and I have a running but older beat up rebuilt title vehicle that's barely worth anything but it works and that's my camper because we're houseless that's the truth um and and we've been nomadic and but I've been I'm Oregon I'm Oregon and I have a permanent residence in Tiger you know, but 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 I am truly I, I'm a I, 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 anyway and I'm I'm seeking permanent and so that's why I'm at the hotel room, but the hotel room is the cheapest one with a kitchenette I could find. It was like $2,300. So I spent all the money I scrimped and saved all summer starving myself, living isolated in this RV. That is, and I'm trying to, I tried to fix it. I tried to clean the black mold. I tried to do everything I could. I tried to work with the banks of warranty. I just nobody is just nonstop gaslighting, discrimination, and just, I just, just and I'm like so I'm at my I'm literally at my yeah and I, I've even tried to do the like I looked at the debt relief I uh, over the last couple of years when I could I tried to work with creditors to get reduced payments I've I've done I've done all that I can medically handle because it it it's so over it over like I mean it overloads normal people I have I have chronic CPTSD from 27 years of military and childhood trauma that all is I'm dealing with now. So let's let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Whenever I'm 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 I, I kept enough money in my checking and a couple hundred dollars in my savings. Um, and then, and then I have, you know, I have what I call my emergency cash travel money on me. Um, and, but I use USAA and so they're not, it's not like a local bank where I could go and make a deposit back, but I, I, I have Zelly and then, you know, I've got the different things. Um, so however, electronically wire transfer, or I could send a check or I could dry or <laughs> there we go. Okay. Debit. Yeah. Yeah, so I can definitely make the initial, and then what I would want to do is, uh, because I don't have, uh, I would probably, uh, like, I'd like to just pay all of it, but I don't have enough in my accounts or backup money to do that, so I guess I would have to do the payment plan, but I would actually like to pay it off, like, as soon as I get my d uh, disability payment again next month, unless, unless... You see, because the whole thing is I'm trying to save up so I can get an apartment because I need like five or six thousand dollars just to get a decent place, a safe 
because I'm a military sexual trauma survivor, and so I require a separate, safe spaces from people, and so that costs more, and I, I haven't been able to get the VA to help me. They, they, they help me, but then they don't, and they even forced me into a very dangerous living situation last year, and then that hospitalized me because, anyway, so, okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Melissa. No. A busy person. That's right. Okay, great. That sounds easy. Opening up my email to see if, uh, uh, what I, so what's my next step then? What do I need to do? I'd be happy to, okay. I filed taxes in Oklahoma a couple years ago um, and I paid an accountant to do that. It's been multiple years now. Um, I paid accountants to handle all of that, um, but somehow they still ended up reporting it as though I had income, but I didn't because it was a limited liability. It was an LLC and I was actually a volunteer at <laughs> like I wasn't a business it was like a non-profit because I was uh, uh, it was my brother's school but he couldn't put anything in his name so I went to Oklahoma to take care of my older brother who was sick and teach karate to autistic kids and people who needed help but this is before I was super over I, this is when I was about 60 percent PTSD and but I still had like bad knees bad back all this other stuff but then through life events and then through the VA and then losing my knees and then double knee replacements and then all the other stuff I went through, um, it, 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 put me, uh, it, it, it put me over the hundred. And like I said, I have a couple letters, uh, even a recent one from the VRE out of the, which is like a vocational rehab that states that I cannot be voc rehabbed and that I am unemployable. So I've been trying, like I've been seeing if there's anything I can do to make money, to recover, to, I run a, I, I do a, a hobby YouTube that is just for my personal coping and my own life. I make no money at it, no money at it, but I do it regularly and I'm like always hopeful that like, gosh, what if all of a sudden I get a million views on something and then they can monetize me and I become well off. That'd be great. But uh, it's not a reality. It's a hobby. <laughs> uh, I don't have any. So but I have those letters. And then I just, like I said, just a week ago, got a recent letter uh, from the VR&E. So I have my original ones from the VA plus these updated ones which say these things. Uh, no, you're, you're not trainable. Sorry. Uh, we can't do that for you. And... Currently, you're not housed, so we can't do independent living track or help you until you are. Like, it's just, it's crazy. I got the trailer. They took me off the housing list. The trailer started leaking water within three weeks, and then insurance denied me, and then the warranty denied me, and then the dealership denied me, and then I was without the RV for six months uh, right after winter living homeless because I got the RV so I wouldn't be homeless. And then, the, you know, like they took me off the housing list so that I couldn't get housing, but they didn't tell me if you get an RV, we're going to take you off the housing list. Like, it was the middle of winter. I was freezing. What are you supposed to do after a year and a half of being homeless, living in your car as a person who's supposed to be housed legally by the VA? It's been just absolutely the most horrific experience, but I'm growing, I'm learning, and I'm learning to self-love, and I'm finally caring for myself, and that's why I have a nice hotel room, even though it's I got it at a super deal because it's normally like 3600 bucks or something, and I got it for a whole month for 2300 total with taxes and that's really good um so but but i was so afraid to do it because i'm like well then I, I won't be able to rent a house but i'm like but i have no place to stay and i can't keep sleeping in a black mold trailer with sleep apnea severe sleep apnea and then 
and then I need to go get bleach and stuff, and then I'm like, it's a 17 foot tiny little single, you know, toy hauler trailer, so then I'll have bleach and be sleeping in bleach. Like, I can't do that. So that's why I had to go to the hotel for medical safety and health. So, um, anyway, that's my situation, and I have not been able to talk to the creditors. I, 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 I tried before, but, and if I need to, I'll, I'll figure it out, but I, 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 it is so triggering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so let's, so next will be, I'll be waiting for an email from you. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, up, up, well, yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. And, um, well, then maybe my daughter, see, I owe, her, I, I owe them, uh, you know, because you can't play pro special with, with, with creditors. But the thing is, I have a GI Bill, like, um, repayment that they're basically stealing from her. And I couldn't support myself or survive um, without that $500 a, a, a month when... Uh, because I make plenty if I'm stable, but moving and then having a, a vehicle break and then an RV break and then traveling and all the gas and then at the hospital, like it's just, it's so expensive. So I've become a vegan. I starved myself this whole, I lost 80 pounds in the last three months. And, and, and I have a service now, but like I just became super minimalistic with everything, saved up that money to get housing and then just had people try to scam. And then at the same time, I'm like $2,500 behind and support, you know, to the GI Bill repayment. And my daughter's like, it's okay, dad, I'm 28. You know, I, I graduated college, I got a good job. I just want you to be okay. But then my daughter has generational PC, can't even talk to me now without getting triggered because of how horrible it's been for me, so. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm like trying to repay that, but I, that's why I wanted to get a hold of you guys because I don't want to do anything illegal. I, I want to make sure I'm following rules. It's important to me. Okay, okay, so I will, I will follow your guidance. Yeah, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Okay, I will, I will, I will. That's great. Thank you, Melissa. Um... And uh, I guess on to the, I'll take a 10 minute break, have a snack, drink a sip of coffee, and then I'm gonna call the elections office and try to figure out why my ballot didn't, because I went to the elections office and, ha and had them actually witness me and train me and everything because I said I'm, I'm houseless, but I have my permanent address in, in Washington County. I spend a lot of time hanging out in Washington County, all around all of Oregon, but and, the, and it says by law, wherever you temporarily can reside will be your, including the elections office address. So I went there, they examined my ID, they examined my signatures, my registration that I had previously done, everything, gave me a new ballot, printed everything out, a person showed me how to do everything. I did all my voting. I took it back up to them to show them my signature, my sealed ballot. They said it's all good. I then put it in the ballot box and then now I have a thing saying my signatures don't match. So that's a little weird to me. So I hope, you know, this isn't somebody on whatever side doing, oh, we don't want, you know, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much. And are you done with me now? <laughs> okay, and this, and then, and then that would be a, a chapter seven. Would you refresh me? Chapter seven is a complete. Okay. And then if I, and if I have a, um, there's a couple where they, uh, there's one from a previous credit union that I was with for like basically my entire, like from 1993 or four on until like just last year. And, but they, what they did was, she charged it off and then she said she's gonna she went to the board to have it not reported so one i know that's like one account that may not have been reported 
in any way, but I, but she says, she told me if I ever did file bankruptcy or if I ever chose to pay it off because I've been trying to get my SSI for over since since 2017 i've been fighting with social security and i'm trying to get a turn and it's impossible it's like you wouldn't believe how many attorneys have turned me down like repeatedly for everything i've called for help with gas the the physical attacks the uh, i just can't seem to get anybody to help me including f f going against the va for malpractice for eight years of endangerment and you know all the stuff they put me through so if you end up having any um Tell me, you know, if you know anybody in the system for Oregon that deals with like VA medical malpractice um, or endangerment, etc., I I need that more than anything because the only reason I'm here filing bankruptcy now is because of the mistreatment. I have I have asked them over and over again for years for social workers to help me with finances, for social workers to help me with shopping. For uh, caregivers, for uh, for you name it, for my age, for for uh, ge geriatric care, for in home care, for for all these things, because I I I I, I go through a variety of 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 di disa disabling things, but then sometimes they're not there, and I can drive and stuff still. So like it's 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 very complex, but I'm. Uh, 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 anyway, so, and not only that, but civilly, I have been grabbed and attacked by college professors last year, uh, uh, discriminated for housing, buying, trying to buy a boat and live on the boat full time in Portland so I could be close to my daughter and care and have it be affordable. So I've just been, and then of course I have people who call me that know I have a disability and then they play, they, 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 <sighs> I've been taken advantage of a lot these last six years and I've given out thousands of dollars to people in need. And so that's also why I changed my phone number and I blocked just about everybody in the whole wide world except for my daughter and her mom because they never try to steal from me. They never try to manipulate me emotionally to get me to pay them money or do things for them. But. A whole bunch of other people, including my own family, have been doing that to me ever since I got this retired and got disability pay, and I've given away thousands and rather been stolen, including my property in Oklahoma. So, um, it's been quite a heck of a, uh, you know, I get stable and then I go to try to do something and somebody assaults me publicly and then I report it and then nobody does anything about it and then that just drives me further and further and further into isolation until I was just in a tiny RV on a separate 50 by 100 RV lot and I don't speak to people for six, seven months at a time. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. Okay, have a great one. Okay, bye. Bye. Okay, okay. We did, we did really good. We kept it under control. That was our bankruptcy appointment. The bankruptcy is gonna cost me $1,950. Oh my God. So if you can help at all, please do. Thanks. <laughs> See the descriptions for, of course, if I get donations, if I get donations, then it might count against me. So don't donate. Don't donate until I find out from her. Maybe after bankruptcy, you guys can help me get back on my feet with just a little bit of help. That sounds like a good idea. Let me get through this one alone, okay? Let me get through this one on my own. On my own. And then after I get all filed and it's all clear... If I'm struggling, if I'm in an emergency situation, I may ask you guys for just just a little bit here and there, just for food or to help with Hana until we get on our feet. Love you very much. Thanks so much. See you later. Bye.